So I, I live way out in the country, and our next door neighbours, uh, they've got a large uh, a paddock, a small uh, field in front of their uh, house, and they keep, uh, they've got six geriatric sheep oh. in their garden. And uh, whenever our, our, uh, our neighbours go on holiday, we're sort of morally obliged to look after these sheep, because we sold them to them originally. <laughs> For quite a good price, but they are already quite ancient. <laughs> so, uh, um, so our neighbors, next neighbours go on holiday in their camper van because they can afford to, afford to go very far or spend much time away because there's huge vet bills <laughs> that we they would like to pay out these uh, sheep. And when they come back to, to uh, pay us for looking after the sheep, they always bring back a tourist goodie from the local from where they came to uh, some uh, toffees or uh, shortbreads or something. And uh, we eat them very quickly, <coughs> and we're left then. With, uh, with the box they come in. And uh, they tend to be a very lovely, lovely uh, looking box. So lovely, in fact, that we, we decide we cannot throw it away. Being a family of hoarders, uh, we keep the boxes, and there's, there's now quite a large block, uh, 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 amount of boxes that we've, uh, we've, we've got, uh, some of them we've got to do. And this is the first thing I've tried to do with one of the boxes. Yeah. And also, I love history, so it, it's, it's, it's sort of mixing history. And stories. So uh, this uh, tale of woe. It's a tale of woe. It's a tale of woe. If you like, if you like uh, rightful kings. It's that, it's, if you like uh, wrongful, wrongful usurpers. It's a, quite a nice little tale. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think there's something for everybody in this story. <laughs> like a box of uh, traditional glossy biscuits. <laughs> and uh, so uh, our story starts one morning, one March morning, in the year uh, 987 when the young Anglo-Saxon king of Britain, uh, King Edward, is uh, riding through uh, Dorset, uh, leading with a, a, a band of Germans on a hunting exhibition. Now, if you look closely, if you look closely, you may be able to see the king, King Edward I, uh, Edward, the Anglo-Saxon king. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, yes, there he is, there he is. Now, you, you can see there's the, there's the stand, the wild stand there that they're hunting, poor dear. And if you look at that, there he is, there is the young Anglo-Saxon king of Britain, uh, King Edward, uh, being followed by all his chums there. It's, 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 don't worry about them there. They're very unimportant, those people there. And uh, they find that they realise they're only stones throw away from the, the king's stepmother uh, house in Corfe Castle. And uh, the, the, it's the home of uh, uh, his entirely trustworthy and lovely stepmother, Queen Ethelfrieda. And if you look, you can, I think you, yeah, there she is, there's oh. Ethel Frieda, uh, keeping an eye on the local, <laughs> uh, local uh, area. And uh, uh, she lives there with the king's half-brother, uh, Prince Ethelred, there he is, he, there's, there's Prince Ethelred, he's ready. Well, you, well, you know, we Prince Ethelred is always ready. There you are. Now, rather stupidly, perhaps, uh, and uh, the king, uh, leaves the rest of the hunting party and goes up to the castle on his on his own. <laughs> oh no! Oh, they, they, oh there is. You can dismount. There, there, there you go. There goes the king <laughs> up to the hunting party on his own. And of course, I have to say, uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, Corfe Castle is, is very much uh, oh, uh, uh, used to be a much more beautiful and. Uh, there's only very little bit left now. Uh, there, oh, there it is. <laughs> now, uh, so, a change of scene, which uh, I haven't found any easy way to change the scene. I can only say change of scene once per box. <laughs> <laughs> and there it goes. Uh, Surf's up. You can hear the cry of surf's up. <laughs> the doors now to these. In fact, they're down on the south coast. You can ride a surf uh, where the uh, where the fuel system is still in operation. <laughs> and uh, and if you look at it very quietly, listen very quietly. You can hear 
is perhaps not entirely trustworthy stepmother, Queen Ethelfrida, uh, planning for his arrival. I think the castle, further up than I thought it was there. Yes.